All right, and we are live. Good evening po sa inyong lahat mga kaguro. And of course, welcome back to Gurung Pinoy. Hello, of course, sa lahat ng members ng Team Bruner, our Let Babies for March 2023. Again, if you are still not a member of Team Bruner, po pwede pa rin po kayo humabol. You can watch the full-length video. You can answer our quizzes. You can, of course, join our final coaching. Dere-derecho po lahat ng ating videos. Po pwede po balikan yung ating videos from October of last year no, until the video that we have now. And of course, you can can easily download all our files. So yan po yung kagandahan ng ating pagiging member ng Team Bruner. Classified files po, yung final coaching ninyo ay included na po sa ating membership for Team Bruner until the day that you take the let, even after or or a day before you take the let, meron pa rin po tayong mga pahabol, no? yung mga uh, blessings na maaring makapag-save sa inyo at siguradong siguradong makatulong para po kayo ay maipasa, no? maipasa ninyo ang inyong licensure exam for teachers na now, on our screen here, it says get a chance to be one of the five lucky winners of 300 G Cash. All you have to do is to share our live stream, the public um, live stream po that we have sa ating uh, Gurung Pinoy na Facebook page. Is share nyo po publicly para po aking nakikita. And of course, once you share sa uh, pinaka shared nyo po na video, itag na po yung tatlong let takers so that I can see and I, I know that uh, kasama kayo sa mga may chance na manalo ng 300 G Cash. Of course, congratulations sa mga lucky winners natin for our previews live stream na last Wednesday. So again, good evening. And sana po mag-share uh, ng ating live stream again publicly and tag three of the let takers as you share para po aking nakikita. And of course, you can join sa ating pong chance to win your GCash. And of course, if you are still not a member of Team Bruner, magpa-member na po. Just send a message to our Facebook page. All right, now Team Bruner, we also have the final coaching and classified files alone na uh, section C. And so kung hindi po kaya ng ating budget no, for sections A and B po pwede din naman po for Team Bruner section C. That's only for final coaching and classified files. And so just send a message through our Facebook page if you'd still want to join Team Bruner. Now for those of you who will be taking the lap in September of this year, we also have already opened Team Skinner, you know, so Team Skinner, we have 300 slots for those who'd be availing 2,000 pesos only for Gen Ed, Prof Ed, and Major. So that's all in uh, that's only 300 slots. Na. So, unang 300, 300 students lamang po for Team Skinner. Let September 2023, 2,000 pesos only all in Gen at Profit Major. Our majorship, we have English, Filipino, General Science, we have Math, we have Social Science, we have MAPED, and of course, we have TLE and AFA. And so, nakakatulong po lahat ng factors, na lahat ng areas po ng inyong let. If you are a Gen Ed, um, gen ed major or B ed, B ed ka, no? for example, B ed, wala ka pong majorship, you only have two components that would be your Gen Ed and your Prof Ed. Kailangan po matataas sila, na, as you have seen kanina sa ating mga ratings ng ating mga students, sobrang matataas yung ratings nila, 90 plus, 80 plus yung ratings dito sa Guru Pinoy, you know, that's from our team PSA from October of last year. Okay, so Gen Ed and Prof Ed, Gen Ed is 40% and Prof Ed of course is 60% dito sa Guru Pinoy, minaman ni Mani lamang ng ating mga kaguro ang Prof Ed. No? So medyo mas madali yung Prof Ed and that is our goal because of course Prof Ed consists of 60% of your actual rating sa inyo pong let no kapag ka ikaw ay BED. Kapag ka BS Ed ka naman po, you have of course 2020-16. No? So uh, 20% um, no, oh no, sorry, 40, 40, 20 pala. No? So 40% for your major, 40% for your profit, then of course 20% for your gen ed. So lahat po yan, again, magtutulong-tulungan. Kaya all of the components dapat po ay pinapangalagaan natin, hindi lamang major, hindi lamang gen ed, hindi lamang prof ed. Minsan po nahahatak kapag kayo major nyo ay medyo mababa, nahahatak ng ating pong gen ed at prof ed, okay? Para po maipasa yung inyong licensure exam for teachers. And so wala pong tapon di Ito, wala po kayong pagsisisi. If you become a member of Kurong Pinoy, we vouch, we promise that we are going to take care of you so that you can uh, pass your licensure exam for teachers kahit na ilang takes pa po kayo na, ipapa, na ipapasa ng ating mga kaguro dito po sa Gurong Pinoy, of course. So again, that's Team Bruner for uh, March. Then of course, Team Skinner naman for our let September. Okay, so September naman po, Team Skinner. 
Okay, now tonight we have final coaching, day number four. This is for LET March 2023. And of course, tonight's focus is going to be professional education. Paki like na po, paki love ng ating uh, video, no? paki share ng ating video. Again, share it publicly. And as you share, tag na tatlong LET takers para po nakikita ko. And of course, maisali ko po kayo doon sa ating uh, lucky winners, no? so five lucky winners of 300 G cash. So again, this is final coaching day four. But of course, let us all start with our opening prayer. So, samahan niyo po ako mga kaguro. Dear Lord, I come to you to ask for your guidance and direction in this study session. I ask that the Holy Spirit fill me with strength, creativity, and understanding to get through my studies without difficulty or sin. Help me hold my focus and attention. Help me to retain all that I learned. Please make my mind sharp and keep distractions at bay. If any part of my studying is weak or lacking in some way, let it be revealed so that I may correct it. Thank you for this opportunity to learn. Amen. All right, now once again, this is final coaching day number four. Please do not forget to like, love, and of course, share our video publicly so that we can reach out to more people. And of course, tag three let takers para mapasama po kayo sa atin pong uh, may chance, no? May chance pong magwin ng 300 G cash, okay? Uh, let's start with question number one. Magsart na po tayo. Let us all have question number one. Okay, in Colbert's stages of moral development, what characterizes taxi driver Rico who returns the wallet of a passenger who left it in his cab? Is it letter A, pre-conventional for the reward or money or for the reward money? Letter B, pre-conventional for fear of punishment? Letter C, post-conventional for the common good, or letter D, conventional for social approval of what other people will say. What is your choice? Question number one, again, share our video publicly and of course, tag three of your friends so that you'll have a chance to win 300 of Gcash. Okay, excuse me, please put your answers at the comment box. Nakukunin ko lang po yung aking cell phone. Okay, number one, ICC is tumpak kaya ang letter C for question number one. No? Kinuha ko lang po yung aking cell phone at medyo may lag yung isa kong device. Okay, so number one, letter C, letter C, tama kayo yung letter C. Kapag ka medyo blurry, of course, you can easily just change the video quality and po pwede nyo din pong... Um, uh, i-off yung caption, no? kapag ka meron pong caption, you can simply turn it off by using the settings of your video. Okay, letter C for question number one. You have driver Rico returning the wallet of a passenger who left it in his cab. The correct choice here, of course, would be letter C for post-conventional, that is, for the common good. Okay, now remember, you cannot choose pre-conventional here. You have taxi driver Rico, no, he is already beyond the pre-conventional stages. Pre-conventional stage po, mga small kids pa lamang yung nandito sa stage na ito. No? They don't uh, understand why rules exist, why we have rules, what's the meaning of the of these rules, and why do we have these rules, okay? So uh, pre-conventional, hindi po natin po pwedeng i-choose. Then of course, you also cannot choose letter D, conventional for social approval, because of course, no one is really trying to approve prove his action um someone just left it in his cab no one knows no not all people or not a lot of people may know na meron na iwang iwang wallet so it's not really for social approval na good boy good girl image 
or teacher's pet, no? but uh, this is post-conventional. It's his own conviction. No? Sarili niyang choice, sarili niyang decision. All right? So the correct choice there would be letter C. If you are looking at the different stages of moral development here, as I've mentioned, ang pre-moral, no? pre-conventional po natin, you have the first one, obedience and punishment. So here, the child is just going to follow the rules because the child does not want to be punished. Okay? The child does not want to uh, receive any punishments. Le uh, number two mo naman po, this one right here at the bottom, this is individualism and exchange. Okay? So, ito yung child gagawa ng isang bagay because he also wants something in return. No? Ito yung tinatawag nating I'll scratch your back, you scratch my back too. Okay? So, uh, re reciprocation, individualism and exchange. Now, conventional at the very middle no, of our stages of moral development, uh, when you say conventional, of course, this is in accordance with your social norms. Gusto mong maging in, no? Uh, gusto mong magkaroon ng good boy, good girl image. So you'd want to have good interpersonal relationships and you'd want to maintain social order. While you're post-conventional, you already have your own choice. Okay, so it can be a social contract and individual rights. Sometimes if you have rules and you think this rule is unfair, you can already protest. No, You can already go against that rule. Okay, so that's post-conventional through your own conviction. Na economist mo hindi para sa ibang tao, but your choice. Okay, so and of course you have the highest, which is universal principle. And so again, as we've mentioned, hindi po po pwede yung conventional because it's not actually for the approval of other people, of course, that's also pre-conventional. Letter C, conventional ang ating pong hinahanap, okay? Uh, not conventional, sorry, post-conventional, post-conventional. All right, we go to question number two, which is the most recent and comprehensive among norms of professional standards for Philippine teachers? Would this be letter A, continuing professional development? Letter B, professional code of ethics? Letter C, Philippine professional standards for teachers? Teachers or letter D, national competency-based teacher standards. What is your choice for number two? Aba, si Sir Kenard Lacambra, na, nasa pre-conventional stage pala kami ni Crush because I wanted her to love me back, Eme. Ikaw yata, sir, yung nag, nag, nagsabi na meron ng development, na yung nag-holding hands na kayo ni Crush mo. Sana all inspired, na? Papuntang let inspired. All right, I see letters C's and D's. Alin kaya ang tumpak sa number two? <clears throat> Excuse me. So again, meron po tayong raffle draw sa mga magsishare po ng ating Gurung Pinoy live stream dyan po sa ating page. You have to share it publicly and once you share sa shared video nyo po, doon nyo, rin, doon nyo na rin itag yung tatlong left takers. Okay, sorry nabubulol. Okay, bisaya. Doon nyo na rin po itag yung tatlong left takers para po maisali, no? mapasali po yung inyong names sa mga may possibility na man, manalo ng 300 Gcash. Okay? Gcash. And of course, meron tayong mga nanalo last time. We've also posted that on our page. So sana po uh, na-receive na yung ating papremyo. Okay, number two, I see a lot of letter C's. Your hints here are the terms most recent. Okay, most recent, pinakabago and comprehensive among norms for professional standards for Philippine teachers. The correct choice here is letter C, Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers or PPST. Okay, this is PPST. Now, the changes brought about by numerous national and global frameworks and the in inev inevitability and inevitability to respond to the changing needs of the 21st century learners led to the call for reviewing the NCBTS. So that po kasi yung older version was your NCBTS, your National Competency-Based uh, Teacher Standards. Thus, the development of the PPST or the Philippine Professional Standards 
for teachers. So, kumbaga, when you say uh, Philippine Professional Centers for Teachers, eto dapat yung alam ng isang guro para siya ay um, magampanan yung kanyang role at para siya ay maging isang pro- pro- ganap ng professional or licensed professional teacher. Okay? So, dapat alam natin lahat ng kailangang skills, lahat ng kailangang attitude, yung CPDs and dyan, no? So, that's letter C, PPST for number two. We go to question number three. Okay? But before that, that. Now remember, we have four career stages of the PPSD. The first stage here is beginning. Okay, so beginning, that should be career stage one. No? The teachers here have just gained qualifications. So qualifications lamang. No? So kumbaga basic. No? Uh, kumbaga ito yung base model ng isang uh, ng isang sasakyan o wala pa siyang masyadong maraming accessories. Basic qualifications lamang para makapasok sa pagtuturo. Kunwari, meron kang lisensya, meron kang uh, mga qualifications na um, that would tell us or that would tell the, the Department of Education na po pwede kang i-hire. No? Meron kang um, pinirmahang dokumento galing kay congressman. No? Uh, it's sad but that is the truth in the Philippines. Kailangan mo maghanap ng... Um, Anong tawag dyan? Nung, nung ninong at ninang. Okay, now stage two here, proficient. This is career stage two. The teachers are already able to independently apply teaching principles. So, kumbaga, hindi lamang siya basic qualifications. Meron na siya mga principles, teaching principles na na-i-apply na niya in his or her everyday teaching. Okay, then you have highly proficient, consistently display. You can already mentor your colleagues. Okay? So, kumbaga, mas angat ka kesa sa mga teachers na na-apply na lahat ng mga skills, techniques, strategies, and teaching kasi ikaw consistently, araw-araw, no, kumbaga, isinabuhay mo na at hindi lamang yan nakakapag-mentor ka na sa iba pang mga guro. And of course, the last one here, distinguished, these teachers already embody the highest standards for teaching grounded in global best practice and lead colleagues in promoting quality teaching and learning. So ikaw kumbaga eh, isa ka ng gurong influencer, okay? Not social media influencer ha, hindi yung mga pasayaw-sayaw pa TikTok-TikTok, pero kumbaga eh, na, nakakapag-influensya ka na sa inyong uh, iba pang guro. And of course, you have the highest standards na for teaching. No? Ito na yung mga... Um, awarded natin, kunwari, ng mga awarded natin mga guro. Alright? So that's distinguished. So you have beginning, proficient, highly proficient, and of course you have the distinguished teachers. These are the four different career stages under the PPSD. Okay? So let us see for question number two. We go to number three. Among thinking skills that students can develop, which is the ability to retain ideas by rote memory. Is this letter A, understand Letter B, remembering. Letter C, creating. Or letter D, applying. What is our choice? Number three. Okay, laban lang, walang mapag, walang magpapaiwan, sabi ni Facebook user. Tama po, no? So lahat, mag, um, hatakan po kayo para lahat makapasa, magtulungan. No one should be pulling another person, another uh, teacher to be down. Okay, and of course magtulungan no magtulungan po tayo para po ating maipasa yung inyong licensure exam for teachers hindi lamang of course uh, do not be dependent on gurong pinoy do not be dependent on the review center but you also should put forth your own effort no dapat tayo din nag-e-effort okay so hindi maghihintay ka lamang kung kailan may live stream Tsaka manunood, no? As, uh, remember, as I've mentioned, yung ating pong mga passers at especially yung ating mga top-notchers ginawa pong movie marathon, nag-movie marathon sa ating pong YouTube uh, channel. No? Na, napakarami po nating video sa YouTube channel. So balikan niyo po yung lahat. Alright, number three, I see letter B is... Okay, yung atin pong pinakahint dito is rote memory. Rote memory, so kumbaga para ka lamang um, loro, no? para ka lamang uh, loro that you would easily just um, memorize. Okay, so inuulit mo lang kung ano yung sinasabi sa inyo. No? That's rote memorization. This is the lowest of all the levels and this of course is remembering. Okay, our knowledge level po ito dati sa older version ng Bloom's Taxonomy. Okay, remember this is the newer version of the taxonomy. No? And you have here, you have remember, this is recalling facts, basic concepts, 
Okay, so that is our answer, the lowest of all the levels. Then after that, you have understanding. Ito po yung comprehension dati. Application, you are able to already apply what you have learned inside the classroom. Remembering, understanding, applying are all part of your lots. Okay, so lots lang po sila. Lower order thinking skills. Then of course, you have analysis, evaluation, and creation. Analysis... Uh, this is breaking the whole into its different parts. Kung baga hinihimay-himay mo yung isang buo. Okay, you break it down into its different parts. You analyze it. Then, of course, you have evaluation. You put judgment, you appraise, you justify, you make decisions. That's evaluation. And the highest is creation. And creation, this was synthesis before. Okay, so synthesis po ito dati. This is another difference between your old version and your new version. Sa old version po kasi, it is evaluation that is at the highest level. Sa new version ng ating taxonomy, uh, creating na po or synthesis dati, no, yung ating pinakamataas na level. Okay? So, when you say creation, you put together the different parts to make a new whole. Napaka-importante na bago ang inyong naibuo or original work, no? Novel yung inyong naibuo at hindi lamang panggagaya, no? Hindi lamang panggagaya, hindi imitation, pero it should be something new. Okay? So, that's creating or creation. But of course, letter B, remembering ang ating tumpak na choice yield. Here, okay, we go to number four. What is a descriptor for a numerical grade of 80 as level of proficiency? Is this letter A very satisfactory? Letter B outstanding? Letter C satisfactory? Or letter D advanced? What's your choice? Number four. Okay, again, share our video publicly and as you share, tag three of your lab takers so that maisali po yung inyong pangalan for a chance to win 300 Gcash. Sa lima po yung ating pinipili. For the 300 Gcash, share our video publicly. When you share, you also tag three of your friends there who will be taking the lab para maisali yung inyong names for those who would qualify and who'd, ha who'd have the chance to win 300 Gcash. Okay, letter C for question number four. We are looking for the descriptor for the grade of 80. Okay, letter C is tumpak, now that's satisfactory. Now remember, these are the different descriptors, different rating scales um, in the K-12, to okay? So outstanding, that's from 90 until 100, satisfact or very satisfactory, that is from 85 to 89. Then you have 80 to 84, satisfactory, kaya po satisfactory yung ating sagot dito. 75 to 79, that's fairly satisfactory. Then of course, below 75, that's did not need extra expectations or failed okay or failed all right so number four ang atin pong tumpak na choice is letter c we go to number five in freud's theory of psychoanalysis which best represents the super ego among students letter a their ideals in life letter b their industry in work letter c their self-esteem or letter d their self-confidence Okay, what's your choice? Number five, we are talking about um, Freud's theory of psychoanalysis, your id, ego, super ego. No? So, alin dito ang super ego? Alin kaya ang super ego? Again, please do not fail to share our video. And if you are still not a member of Team Brunner, uh, we can help you. We can help you pass your let. Just send a message to our Facebook page at pwede pa rin po kayong humapol, magpa-member sa ating classified files, sa ating final coaching, and of course, we have sections A and B that's full membership para po mabalikan ninyo lahat ng ating videos and of course, ma-download lahat ng ating files. Okay, number five. Uh huh. Super ego. The correct choice here is letter A. Their ideals in life. Now remember, you have the ego, the id, no, the id, the ego, and the super ego. Sabi ng id mo, I want to do it now. Now this is your unconscious level. Eto yung hindi mo alam, no, unconscious ka. And this seeks immediate gratification. Gusto niya satisfied siya kaagad. Gusto niya nakukuha niya kaagad. This has your impulses, your desires, your libido, your sexual urge. Just no animal animal side mo yung it. And of course you have the ego. This is 
the compromise. Okay, so this is a conscious and pre-conscious level of operation. This is between the id and the superego. No, ito po yung balance. Okay, so this is the rational part of your psyche. And of course, the superego, superego mo naman, this is the moralistic side. No, sabi na superego mo, it's not right to do this. This is a pre-conscious level of operation and this uses ideals and morals. Kaya po yung ating sagot, is letter A. Their ideals in life. Okay? Ideals. Letter A is what we are looking for for number five. We go to question number six. As teachers, what kind of web application or app do we need in order to be more efficient and productive in our use of platforms on the internet? Is this letter A, financial app? Letter B, instructional app? Letter C, management app? Or letter D, inventory app. What is our choice for question number six? Again, to enjoy the full video and download our materials, join Tim Bruner, send a message to our Facebook page. Okay, six ICBs. Tumpa kaya ang letter B. Ligwak, sabi ni Facebook user, sobrang self-confidence, no? Okay lang po yan. At least confident. At least hindi ka takot na mag-try at hindi ka mat uh, takot na matuto. Okay. I see a lot of letter Bs. Tumpa kaya or ligwakers kaya ang letter B. Okay. Sabi dito, kind of web application that we need in order to be more efficient and productive in the way we use the different apps. Okay? So, efficient and productive. Okay? So, efficient siya. That means you are working smart, you are not working hard. No? The correct choice here is letter C. That's your management app. Ito yung tinatawag mong LMS, no? Learning Management System. Okay? So, Learning Management System. Because here, of course, when you are using the LMS, you can track the learning of your students. Ilan ba yung nakuha nila? Ilan ba yung ligwak? Ilan, ilan ba yung pasado? You can give them tests. There's gonna be online courses, you can deliver it through mobile phones or the web, merong communication, no, offline course material, and even registration. No, kahit yung ate na no, ginagamit natin through Facebook and of course through quizzes, lahat ng yan, this is, this can be considered your LMS. But of course, uh, the most common types of your LMS would be yung mga pinaka-common na ginagamit na no, yung mga Google Classroom, Edmodo, um, ano pa ba yung Microsoft Teams, no? So, um, these are your learning management system, okay? So, management app po, hindi ka lamang nag instruct but you can work efficiently and you are more productive, no? So, kahit na si teacher ay may sakit, kunwari, no, kami dati, when I was still teaching in the US, kahit na wala kaming pasok, we don't meet to one on, uh, we don't meet face-to-face, -face. for example, now during the pandemic, uh, or merong sakit si teacher, po pwede kang mag-post lamang ng instructions at po pwede meron silang gawin kahit na wala ka. Okay? So, hindi po sayang yung oras. And of course, you don't need to gather the papers of your students and check them one by one and grade them one by one at ibalik sa kanila, no? It is real time. Checking is real time kahit dito sa ating quizzes, no? Uh, the only difference is that you cannot see kung alin yung namali, alin yung tama. But of course, uh, you can see that you can realize that you can learn that when we discuss, okay? So that um, mas maging interactive and of course, mas tuto kayo sa ating discussion. We try to hide no, kung ano yung mali ninyo para dito nyo na malearn sa ating pong discussion, okay? So letter C, management app, yung ating pong hinahanap. We go to question number seven, which type of test can show the student's synthesizing skills? Letter A, performance test. Letter B, diagnostic test. Letter C, multiple choice test. Or letter D, completion test. Okay, what is our choice? Sir Joel Rivera, good evening po. Mm -hmm. All right, what is your choice? Number seven, I see a lot of letter A's again for you to enjoy the full-length video. You can download our files, send a message po sa ating Facebook page so that you can become a member of Team Bruner. Okay, 
kapag ka um, September naman po kayo magti-take po, pwede po kayo magpa-member sa Team Skinner. Meron po tayong promo right now, no? First 300 students, meron pong 2,000. That's already all in. No? Gen Ed, Prof Ed, and of course, meron ng major. Okay, seven. I see letter A's. Okay, type of test that can show the students synthesizing skills. Uh, skills. So remember our synthesis kanina, you're creating, diniscuss natin kanina, iba, ibang levels, no? Nang uh, Bloom's Taxonomy, when you say synthesize or synthesis or creating, you put together different parts to make a new whole, okay? So bago, meron kang naimbentong bago, meron kang nabuong bago. And so the correct choice here would be performance test, okay? Not your diagnostic test. Uh, the main purpose of your diagnostic test is simply to gauge the weakness and the strengths of your students. Multiple choice tests and completion tests are just two types of your objective test. Okay, so performance test po yung ating inahanap. Now, these are the most common verbs that you may use for the different levels of Bloom's taxonomy. Okay, so... Um, Yung create mo, ayan, meron kang design, modify, role play, develop, rewrite, no? So yung mga role playing, uh, dito po, dito po siya nagpo-fall under your creation and that would be synthesis, no? Synthesis dati. Okay, so letter A is tumpak for question number seven. We go to number eight in our post-industrial age. What provides an unlimited source of material for teaching and learning in schools? Would it be letter A, school library? Letter B, school research center. Letter C, world wide web. Or letter D, school resource center. Okay, what's your choice? Number E. Sir George Caber. Good evening po. First time sa live. Hello, kawai kawai, Sir George Caber. No? Sa mga newbies natin, first timers natin, we are very glad that you are able to join us. Uh, thank you, Gurum Pinoy, especially Ma Mek, watching from Kalbayog City, Western Samar. Good evening po sa lahat ng mga taga-Samar. Proud to be a member of Team Brunner A. Nag-wake -wake up ako 5 a.m. para nito kanina. Okay, so um, your quizzes can be answered naman po from 5 a.m. until 7 p.m. No? Basta bago tayo mag-discuss na tapos na po yung inyong test, uh, pasok pa po, no? po pwede pa. All right, number eight, letter C. Okay, so yung pinaka hint nyo dito would be the terms post-industrial age. That means in modern day, no? Ngayon, sa ating ginagamit ngayon, what provides an unlimited source? Okay, yan pa yung isang hint. Unlimited source, napakarami mong sources. Is it your school library, school research center, World Wide Web, school resource center? Of course, the correct choice here is your www, okay? That's your um, internet, okay? So your internet. Dati, no, sa Amerika sabi ng isudyante, your internet. Okay, so the internet is um, unlimited, is an unlimited source of material. There's uh, literally no limit. And of course, uh, we use this in our post-industrial age. Dati, wala masyadong may, may internet, no? Um, ininet lang na tubig, meron tayo dati. Okay, so kahit dati nga, wala masyadong landline, wala masyadong um, internet station, okay? Hindi lahat merong internet. Ito yung mga isa ding, isa ding naibigay na positive, no, ng a pandemic. Lahat eh, na puwersa magka, magka internet, magka um, gumamit ng computers, okay? So, now it is easier for us to communicate kahit yung jowa mo na LDR kayo ay nababantayan mo, okay? Dahil sa sa internet, okay? So, letter C, World Wide Web is the correct choice. We go to question number nine. Several stakeholders influence the school curriculum, but which next two learners are primarily important to the school curriculum implementation? Is this letter Letter A, parents. Letter B, industry. Letter C, community. Or letter D, policy makers. Okay, what is our choice for number nine? Uh-huh. Mukhang dito maraming naliguak. Okay, so medyo may kalituhan for this item, pero okay lang, no? Uh, at least, machi-check natin ngayon.
Okay, sabi ni Ma'am Shahira, sana sa actual na let makakasagot ako ng tama kasi dito sa live, nakakasagot po ako ng tama. Okay, so when you read your actual let, no, imagine niyo na lamang yung akin pong boses. Okay, yan naman lagi yung feedback ng ating mga students. No? Naririnig nila yung boses ko and so they are guided, it becomes easier for them to answer. Okay, so... Okay lang po at marami po tayo talagang nagsasabi na um, mga students of course from Team Pache Gardner, uh, Erickson dati, Team Grow na um, mas madali, okay? Mas madali ang let kaysa sa ating quizzes. Okay? So okay lang po 'yan, no? Uh, wag pong matakot magkamali. So, eto, babasahin ko isa sa mga passers natin. Ma'am Amanda Brave. I miss your voice, Ma'am Mac. LPT, October 2022, first taker. Proud Team Piaché. Makinig mabuti kay Ma'am Mac. Mga future LPTs, kayang-kaya nyo yan. Kaya, uh, again, no, makinig pong maigi sa lahat ng ating sinasabi, especially sa mga hints, no, makinig po kay maigi. Alright, number nine. Sabi dito, next to learners, sino ang pinaka -import? importante sa implementation ng curriculum. Sino ba yung nagpapa-implement ng ating curriculum? Pag may mga pagbabago sa curriculum, na no, sino yung mga nagde-decide, sino yung um, nag-agree, si sino yung nagmi-meeting, okay? The correct choice here would be letter D, policy makers po yung ating hinahanap, hindi po parents, um, most especially kapag ka-public school, wala naman masyadong say yung parents. So, although the parents, of course, are very important as part of the stakeholders, but here, sabi curriculum implementation. If there is teachers, no, pag merong teachers sa ating pong choice, that would have been better. Okay? So, that would have been better. Kaya lang, eh, wala kasing teachers, no? And so, the nearest to the teachers so we can choose here would, of course, be the policy makers. These are your experts. These are our gov uh, government officials. Now, sila yung mga namumuno kasi sa paaralan and they would decide what are going to be the changes sa ating curriculum. Should they be using the UBD, the K-12, whatever changes in the curriculum, that would be your policy makers. Okay? So, letter D, ang pinaka mabigat no, na component, ang pinaka mabigat na stakeholder out of all the stakeholders that we have here, letter D, ang ating pong tumpak na choice. Okay, we go to number 10. Which of the following best exemplifies fun learning in the classroom? Letter A, group research. Letter B, group discussion. Letter C, group games. Or letter D, group presentation. What's your choice? Ma'am Jenny May, Bachelier Abiso, nakakatuwa kasi pa-improve nang pa-improve yung scores ko sa Gen Ed Prof Ed. Dati 70 to 80% lang, pero ngayon mas mataas na. Sana pati sa let. Okay? So, practice makes perfect. And of course, we believe in the law of exercise. Kaya tayo may padrills, no? That's why we're using quizzes. And of course, yung quizzes nyo may time, no? So again, kung hindi ka pa po member ng Team Brunner, sali na po kayo. May quiz po tayo, may drills po tayo, may time limit po yan para mahasa kayo, no? Kung paano nyo gagamitin yung inyong time at paano nyo sasagutan yung inyong pong questions. Ma'am Jenny May Bachelier Abiso, no? Batiin ko lang din Uh, yung sister po ni Ma'am Jenny May ay dati po nating estudyante nung tayo po ay face-to-face -face, face -face pa. I think uh, I cannot remember when. Might be in 2018, 2019 pa yata, ma'am, no? sa Iloilo. Okay, si, si Ma'am Jeline Bachelier. Of course, needless to say, she's already an LPT. No? Of course, kapag ka nagre-review dito, nakakapasa. All right, letter D for number 10 or letter C? Okay, yung pinaka-hint mo dito, kapag ka-prof ed po kasi, dapat naghahanap tayo ng hint. Okay, so ang pinaka-hint po dito is fun. Fun. Okay, so masaya. And so the correct choice here would be games. Letter C, ang ating pong tumpak na choice. All right, we go to number 11. During the rainy season, Principal Ronda made a ruling to use the corridors instead of the schoolyard for lining up prior to entrance in classes. How is this a good practice? Letter A, to protect the yard from student tampering. Letter B, to protect students from inclement weather. Letter C, to make good use of the corridors or letter D to give students easier access to classes. Okay, ano ang ating pong pinaka magandang choice dito, no? Although the rest of those might be uh, correct choices, but we have to look for the best choice. 
Okay? Best choice. So, ano kaya ang ating tumpak na choice here? Okay, again, if you are still not a member of Team Bruner, send a message to our Facebook page kung saan po kayo nanonood ngayon. No? That's our Facebook page so that you can easily pass your lab. Okay. All right. So again, remember your let is ideal. Yung sa let mo, si teacher po ay napakabait. Okay? Napakabait kapag ka kahit nang inaaway si teacher, no? Bawal pong mang-away din si teacher. Si teacher po napakapasensyosa at napakabait. In short, plastic po si teacher sa let. Okay? So, uh, in this case here, in such situational, sa ito pong mga situational nating um, questions, you have to choose the best choice kung saan pinakamabait si teacher. And the correct choice here, no? sabi kasi si Principal Ronda, uh, pinagamit niya yung corridor instead na sa yard. Okay? So instead po sa yard, pinagamit niya yung corridor sa mga bata kapag ka, uh, umuulan. Bakit? Because of course, it is to protect students from inclement weather. Okay? So ito po yung ating pong, uh, hinahanap. No? Napakabait ng guru dito. Hindi siya um, hindi siya concerned lamang sa yard na sinasabi ng letter A mo. Hindi siya concerned lamang sa corridor sinasabi ng letter C mo. And hindi din dahil gusto niya easier lang yung access. The correct choice is gusto ni teacher na iprotect yung mga estudyante from the rain, from the ulan. Okay, so napakabait ni teacher. Letter B, ang tumpak na choice. All right, we go to number 12. What is the focus of teacher Mar Mariah who checked assigned essays of her students for their spelling, grammar, write citation on pictures and labeling of diagrams? Would this be letter A, accuracy? Letter B, organization? Letter C, relevance? Or letter D, propriety? Aba, si Sir Glester, sabi ni Sir Glester, mahugot, no? Ako kasi hindi pinotektahan. Okay, number 12, I see a lot of letter A's. Okay, of course, all of these we can check, no? Whenever our students would turn in or submit some papers. Pero, base sa ating sitwasyon, ano yung chinecheck ni teacher? Spelling, grammar, write citation, labeling of diagrams. This, of course, would be accuracy, okay? Don't pronounce this as accuracy, okay? You say accuracy, okay? So, nasa first syllable, yung ating pong stress, no? Accuracy, all right? So, not organization. Organization, of course, for example, pinasulat niya ng, ng um, summary or ng paragraph, no? Dapat may introduction, may body, may closing, no? Organization. Relevance, relevance naman, importante, up to date, hindi obsolete, for example, no? Propriety dito, ang ibig sabihin ng propriety is uh, the state of being proper or suitable, okay? So, proper or suitable lamang. But here, hinahanap po is spelling, grammar, right citation, labeling, and so accuracy is the right choice. All right, we go to number 13. A teacher is a trustee of the cultural and educational heritage of the nation and is under obligation to transmit to learners such heritage. Which practice makes the teacher fulfill such obligation? Is this letter A, use interactive teaching strategies? Letter B, facilitate discovery of values from history? Letter C, adopt the latest educational technology? Letter D, observe continuing professional education? Okay, letter B for number 13. Again, if you are still not a member of Team Bruner, magpa-member na po kayo, okay? Para po nakikita nyo lahat ng ating videos and of course, yung ating mga files. All right, 13. What is our choice? I see a lot of letter Bs for number 13. Letter B. Okay, so sabi dito kapag ka ikaw ay guro, dapat ay tinuturo mo 